now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Rushing. Fields it at the 18. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. Makes it out to about the 43. That brings up second and Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Yard line. He gets another set of downs and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. Right back to the run game, and this time he's met immediately. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 35 yard line. around the 34-yard line. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22. the ball for a nice game. Rushing. Gains about four yards on the play. That makes it seven and six. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And they get nice yardage on that run. It's the 11th play of the drive. After a decent run up the gut. That's good for a That brings up second and goal. They're at the three. Second down. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. Touchdown. Of Lima just pancaked the defense on that one. And he adds the extra point. So a 12 play, 63 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. So our score, 7 0. It's fielded at the 2. And down he goes at the 28 yard line. 
The Cougars and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. This is why it's so important to have success in running the football. It forces a defense to prepare for it, and then that creates chances on play action. They executed that one perfectly. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Tackle made around the 40-yard line. shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. They've got ten guys up. They're coming after the kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Nice run there. Gain of six on the draw play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. the 37-yard line. Receiver. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Second and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. He lost the ball. Scooped up by the offense. Brought down around the 47-yard line. Exciting first quarter comes to an end. Wildcats with a touchdown lead. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. four-yard line and a big run on third down anytime you can move the ball like this you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 44. Easy, easy. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Heading for the corner. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Rushing. Comes away with five yards on the carry. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's going to try and scramble. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. My four, my four. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. From their own 31-yard line, first down. Fights forward to about the 33. That's good for two yards. That makes it the Wildcats so running back left the game earlier with that injury, and now it's unlikely they tell us that he's going to be able to return today. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Throws and it's incomplete. Change of quarterback, Kirby. You got to wonder what that's going to do to the team morale. And his next man up, they've got to be ready to trust this guy. From their own 33-yard line, third down. And he's taken down at about the 41. That makes us all anxious. Fernandez awaiting the return. Nailed on that one. So can the defense match their effort from the last drive with another takeaway? One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. From their own 19-yard line, second down. He's scrambling, and they got him. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Third and long now after the sack. That's right. That's what I do. Mike four. Looking for his man, incomplete. Sykes was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Clement is waiting for the snap. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. 
The Cougars have got to find a way now to get the football in this guy's hands. And I think about basketball players and a jump shooter. If you can't get him the, the ball, get him to the free throw line and get him one free one from 15 feet. Or... I agree with you 100%. I mean, and this is one of those games where the defense has just been suffocating. They've taken this wide receiver out of the game. Uh, this offense has not been able to come up with some answers. I would continue to fight as an offensive coordinator and a play caller to find different ways to get this receiver a touch. And all it takes, Brad, as you said, is just one play to maybe create that spark and get this confidence established for this offense. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Just throws this one away. Pitch out, got the corner. He's at the 20. And he shoved out of bounds at the 15-yard line. That makes it first and two. First and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. the stop at the 14 and he didn't have much of a chance on that play boy this defense has a lot of speed they're all over him by the time he caught the ball nice run up the middle that makes it third and three third down again Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Matthew fields it at the 13, and he's taken down at the 26. A really defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think the offensive coordinator take a few chances, be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Throws, falling back, and finds his man. He's taken down at the 37-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. And now the ball is loose. He scooped up. They bring him down in the backfield. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. the 35. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. And they'll get him in the backfield. The Cougars use their second timeout. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. At the 42-yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. team. Number 
Penalties declined. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 42. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Going long. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Well, we're headed to halftime now, and we're seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. 7-3, Wildcats. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us, and more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He'll return it from the three. Across the 30. Inside the 30. The 10. And they're going to bring this one all the way back. Touchdown! So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he hits the PAT. They're ready for the kick. Matthew fields it the 17. The Cougars continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. at about the 23-yard line, and that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle at the line of scrimmage there. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. He gets to about the 34-yard line. Fights forward to about the 36. Clement is the punter. He gets out to about the 32 yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Tackle made around the 41-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. and he's hit immediately in the backfield. Hand off and he won't 
won't make it. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. Fernandez is back deep to return. There just wasn't anywhere for him to go. Sure, he didn't go backwards, but this return could have been a lot worse. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he's level at the 21-yard line. From their own 21-yard line, second down. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The quarterback trying to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. to the senior and he was that close to turning that into a big play i'm telling you right now when you have that kind of speed you're a real threat to go all the way so that could have been even worse for this defense now it's first and ten after the big pass play The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. They bring him down. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. From the 23-yard line, it's second down. Brought down at the 28-yard line. Really nice play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instincts. We're at play number nine of this current drive. this one out to the left. The defender had it and then dropped it. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Slings it, and he scores! Touchdown! Designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. And he tacks on the extra point. 
a nice 10 play 80 yard drive and it results in a touchdown Brad I thought that was a textbook drive I thought they did a really good job of showing balance mixing the play calling with the run in the pass it's just an overall well executed touchdown drive. the score now 14 10 and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff he's to the 20 at the 30 He's taken down at the 44-yard line. Boy, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. Second down and 14. Ball on the 40. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled at about the 49. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. That's three down and one to go. Wildcats lead it by four. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Play action. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. From the 41-yard line, first down. He fights forward to about the 40. That brings up second and nine. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Caught down in the open. And he's taken down at the 31 yard line. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Nice run, and he's brought down. Another run. Makes it out to about the 16. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. That brings in second and one. The 10. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. And he carries the ball for a nice game. This is the 10th play of this drive. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. score by the halfback and a nice call by the coach there just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line trying to go up by three they'll kick the extra point and he adds the extra point a 10 play 56 yard drive and they add seven points to the scoreboard brad that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out they can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field and a lot of the yards came on the ground Matthews takes it to 14. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. 
You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just under three to go in regulation. Fires complete over the middle. Scooped up by the defense. And they make the stop at the 41. And that fumble is going to cost them. Uh, at this stage in the game, the number one rule has to be to hold on to the football. A score here might effectively end this one. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. From the 30-yard line, it's first down. his way to the 19-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. First and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. Inside the 10. He's taken down at the 4-yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. in there. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. Well, we're under two minutes to go in this game, and this offense is down by two possessions. The defense knows that if they can come up with another stop, this game is over. A fumble really hurt this team's last drive, so let's see if they can make up for that blunder on this drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. And it's caught. The receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, they're always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. He gets rid of this one. From the 35-yard line, second down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. for a short loss. He's looking for his man. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. And down he goes around the six-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Go and it's caught for the touchdown. Late in the fourth quarter now, and with that score, this game's a one possession ball game, and it's really going to get tense from here on out. 
Here's the extra point to draw within three points. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He's at the 30. He makes his way out to about the 25. The Wildcats, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Just a minute remains in this football game, and this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. again and they'll get him in the backfield by the time the running back here got the football he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks really is nothing he could do at all there that was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line The Cougars, coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team is able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.